A Michigan office manager risked his career to expose a doctor who gave chemotherapy to patients who did not have cancer. Dr. Fareed Fata gave unnecessary treatments to more than 500 patients at a Detroit area cancer center. In tonight's episode of the CBS News series Whistleblower, host Alex Ferrer talks to the former office manager who stepped forward to expose the man responsible for this. I couldn't believe what was in front of me. I couldn't believe what I was seeing. George Karache took a new job in 2011. I was an office manager for an oncology practice. Dr. Fareed Fada had a rapidly expanding practice in suburban Detroit. But within two years, one of the other oncologists and two nurse practitioners announced they were leaving. Karache confronted that other oncologist. Are you leaving? And he said, yes. And I said, can I ask you why? What the doctor told George Karache about Dr. Fada was a bombshell. Patients were given chemotherapy and other treatments when they didn't have cancer. Robert Sobore was referred to Dr. Fada by his back surgeon. I heard he was one of the best there is. I am Dr. Farid Fada with Michigan Hematology Oncology. Dr. Fada did a bone marrow biopsy. Two weeks later, he turned around and said, you got multiple myeloma. It's a blood cancer, a bone destroying disease. He began monthly chemotherapy infusions. I'd become weak, sick to my stomach, tired all the time. I couldn't walk anymore. The chemotherapy eventually destroyed all my teeth. Sobore went to see a different oncologist. He was shaken by what he heard. And he says, I've seen both biopsies. There's nothing that says that you had cancer anywhere in there. I was shocked. It was worse than hearing that you have cancer. I was determined to have this doctor stop harming people. His head spinning, George contacted an attorney he knew who handled whistleblower cases. George believed he might have a strong one. We've heard a lot of strange stories about fraud, but that one was, was beyond fraud. It was cruel, it was criminal, it was risking people with poison. David Heron wasted no time. He called the Department of Justice. Without a doubt, this is the fastest and most intense lawsuit I've ever handled in this area. George Karache was willing to put everything on the line. My job was at stake, my livelihood, even my own personal safety. I wasn't looking at the patients anymore as being treated. I looked at it as a burning building with people inside. I had to make it stop, and I had to make it stop quickly. Boy, thank you, Mr. Karache. Alex Ferreira joins us now at the table. Good morning to you, Alex. Oh, good morning, Gail. How are you? Kind of, dis I'm pretty good, but kind of despicable behavior. How could he get away from with this for so long without anybody knowing? Well, you know, in private practice, doctors have little to no oversight. There's nobody there to really check what they're doing. And he would provide the chemotherapy in his office. So there was even less likelihood of getting caught. On the rare occasion that he did go to a hospital, it was before 6 a.m. or after 11 p.m. so that nobody would be questioning his medical decisions. It was the perfect fraud. And yeah. as a result, uh, over a very short period of time, he subjected over 550 patients wow. to unnecessary treatment. Why? Just be money? Why? Greed. Just greed. total, unadulterated greed. Using their body, their lives to pocket a few thousand dollars in every treatment. It's, it's incredible. I hear that attorney you categorize it as, you know, he's seen a lot of bad schemes mm -hmm. out there. This is the lowest of the low. Well, as I've been a police officer. I've been an attorney. I've been a judge. I've seen just about everything, and this still blows my mind. Yeah. yeah. Oh, that he would do it himself in his office, poison him, and then watch it happen. Yes. Oh. Yeah. Despicable well, really applies. Mm -hmm. It's Thank an you, amazing Alex. episode. Thank you, Alex Rare. But Thank you only do amazing Thank episodes. Thank you. That's all we do. <laughs> there you go. Whistleblower Excellent. airs tonight at 8 p.m., 7 Central, right here on CBS.